Hi everyone, Stepan here. I just came home from a league game. Uh, I faced a slightly higher rated opponent and I've been preparing things that didn't happen in the game, but that's not important. I was expecting the Nimzo Indian from him. Anyway, I played d4 and he played d6. Now you can play many different moves here, but I decided to play the principled e4 and go into the Pirts. Now, I have a great score with the Pirts, or against the Pirts, and I've played both knight c3 and f3, and since I didn't expect this at all, I wasn't prepared for it, I didn't know what to do, I, I decided to play f3 because it's more aggressive. I've had bad results recently and I wanted to play for a win. Uh, he played g6, I played bishop e3, after bishop uh, to g7 I played knight e2. And this may seem strange, but the idea is that after, for example, castles, I can go g4, and uh, the idea is knight g3, followed by h4, h5. If he makes a mistake here and plays knight bd7, which is seemingly the most natural move, then g5 leads to an almost winning position for white. Knight h5, of course, fails to knight g3, and this has to be exchanged. Once it's exchanged, queen d2, queen h2, and pressure on h7. This is actually how I won one game against the Fide Master. But in this position, he surprised me with the move d5, which is a bad move. Uh, and I know the move. So e5, uh, knight f to d7 is forced, and now I actually know that the engine plays h4 here. I remember that from my prep a couple of years ago. But it's never easy to follow this attack up, in my opinion, and I, I just don't know what to do. If you turn on the engine here, the engine says h4 or knight bc3 are the best moves. h4 I don't understand at all. I know that the engine wants to play h5, but my king is extremely weak. And after c5, my king isn't going to be safe on the queen side either. So instead of knight bc3 or or h4, I played knight d2, which is a move I like. The idea is f4 and knight f3. And according to the engine, it's only slightly worse than h4 or knight bc3 by like 0.5. Uh, and this idea I, I understand because I played the Tarash French, the Tarash against the French, and I'm used to having a pawn on f4, a knight on f3, and a pawn on c3. So this is basically what I would do against the Tarash French if he plays e6 at any point before the bishop moves, then we're in a Tarash French structure where he has a bishop on g7, which is arguably far less useful than having it on this diagonal. Okay, he played c5 as expected, and now I, I didn't have to play c3, uh, but I did. Uh, even though I wasn't sure whether I'm going to recapture with the pawn, bishop or knight, uh, I played c3. <clears throat> I could have gone f4 straight away, I think. And if he takes, I'm covering everything, there's no more pressure on the knight. Obviously, this the same type of attack that you get in the French doesn't work because the bishop is on, is on g7. So maybe c3 was a wasted tempo. But okay, it's if, if, I, if I'm not going to go knight c3, then it cannot be a bad mistake. Okay, knight c6, uh, normal, f4. He took on d4. And I took with the knight which I think is the best move. Uh, the engine says plus 1.3 if knight takes. So I free up my bishop. This makes a lot of sense. And he played knight takes. And now white has a significant advantage, uh, regardless of which pawn white takes with. I, I wasn't sure what to do. At first, of course, I wanted to take with the pawn and I wanted to play for f5. But when he plays something like queen b6 and knight b3, uh, or if he plays queen b6 and then knight b3, I, I couldn't see any problems. But if he doesn't play queen b6, if he plays something like knight b8 and then knight c6, I figured my pawn was going to be in trouble eventually. The engine says this is plus 1.5 for white, so everything is safe. Instead, I decided to take with the bishop, and this is still a good advantage for, for white, even though taking with the pawn was better. The idea is, of course, e6 if he doesn't castle immediately, and 
my bishop seems to be more active here. Uh, also, I wanted to have my bishop controlling this diagonal so that there is no knight b6, knight c5, queen b6, and so on. He castled, uh, I played knight f3. <clears throat> okay, white is better. However, black is going to play f6, and he did play f6. Uh, this is probably the best move, and from a human perspective, it makes a lot of sense. I have this bind in the center with my e5 pawn, I'm controlling everything. And now there's a couple of options. Um, my candidate moves were takes, bishop b5 and queen b3. Uh, the idea of bishop b5 is that the knight doesn't have any useful squares. So for example, if f5, I take with the f pawn, the knight still doesn't have any useful squares. And it's hard to suggest a move for black here. The engine says queen c7 or knight b8 or a6. If a6, I don't take, I retreat to e2, and this seems to be a weakness. Uh, I can also take, and after bishop takes d7, I can play h3, still playing against this bishop, but I, I couldn't make this work. I couldn't see a big advantage for white in those lines. Now, instead of bishop e5, if I take, then the two moves that make sense to me are ef6 and knight f6. Maybe knight f6 seems more natural because he gets the e4 square, and my intention, if I had taken, was to go g3 here. And let's say bishop f5, bishop g2. Again, it's very hard to suggest a move. Uh, if knight e4 at any point, I'm going to exchange dark squared bishops and then continue h4, h5, and have the e5 square for my knight, for example. Both knights are great, but I can trade his knight off. And if the knight moves, I'm going to take on d5. So probably this is what I should have done. If he plays ef6, then I just go bishop e2. And I'm playing against an isolated pawn without an attack. If, if he plays f5 to go knight f6 and knight e4, again, I get the e5 square. But I played queen b3, which isn't bad. It, it's a good move. He played knight b6, which I'd expected, and now I made a mistake. Now I played castle's queen side, and the position is equal. I was thinking that he doesn't have time for fe5. My mistake was that I didn't calculate the lines properly before castling. Um, I thought it couldn't be a bad move. If he takes, I, I'm not losing material. So... Instead of castling, I should have taken on f6. Let's just mention that. Again, if, if bishop f6, then knight e5. If f6, then castle's queen side. And now we have the same position where the d5 pawn is weak, but this bishop is blocked. And I'm not... My e pawn isn't under pressure because I don't have an e pawn. Okay, so castling before taking, and he took. And now, of course the thing you have to look at first is bishop takes b6 followed by rook d5 uh, if he takes with the pawn then rook d5 is just winning uh, white is winning material if bishop e6 then rook d8 and that's game over if not bishop e6 then whatever he plays I, I win material so I don't know let's say queen e8 I can go I don't know any discovery that wins material, like if queen e8, I could go here and take the rook. Uh, but he doesn't take with the a pawn, he takes with the queen, and now I'm just losing. Uh, queen takes, runs into bishop e6, rook takes, runs into bishop e6. So I couldn't do that. Uh, so after f takes e5, I had to recapture. And I took with the bishop, which, according to the engine, is a bad move. Uh, bishop e5 is a bad move. Knight e5, of course, loses the pawn. The engine wants to play f takes and says it's equal. I was afraid of bishop f5 followed by bishop h6, and I would have to go bishop d3 here, and then he goes knight c4, and I wasn't sure about this position. This is the reason I didn't take with the pawn. Now that I've turned on the engine, I see that it's equal, uh, but it's equal if you go h4. Okay, bishop e5 slightly better for black. So I went from significantly better for white to slightly better for black. Okay, 
bishop takes, I have to take with a pawn, um, unless I want to lose a pawn, uh, bishop g4. Okay, now in this position, I played bishop e2, which is the, the natural human move. Uh, the engine plays queen b4, which I would never consider in a million years, and the move makes no sense to me. You're threatening to take the bishop, which is threatening to take a knight and win a pawn, so the logical follow-up would be something like this. But now the engine says white is equal after h4. So basically I kept missing h4 throughout the game. I, I, I knew that I was supposed that h4 was one of the moves in the opening, but later on I, I never considered it. And apparently white has compensation for the pawn here because of h5. After bishop e2, black is slightly better. e6, and now I'm afraid of queen g5, or bishop takes, bishop takes, queen g5, winning a pawn, so I can either go h4 or king b1. I chose king b1, which, see, which seemed safer. I didn't want to get my king cut off with bishop f5 later on. Now bishop f3, bishop f3, and here he played queen h4, which surprised me, uh, allowing rook d4. Queen g5, and now knight c4 is in the position and I have to be careful not to allow knight d2 check but I calculated a line from here and wasted a ton of time so here's what I was calculating I was calculating rook h1 saving my pawn uh, and then knight c4, queen d1, and either rook f5 or rook f4. Against both, I was calculating rook takes d5, where if e takes d5, bishop d5, and the knight on c4 hangs in the end. So on rook d5, he inserts knight a3 check, b a3, e d5, bishop d5. If you weren't able to follow that, I'm going to put it on the board because it happened. Uh, so I, I, I played rook e1. <clears throat> Instead, the engine plays h4. Okay, queen takes pawn, and now queen d1. And it's equal, but white is the one playing for the advantage. I did not see this idea at all. The idea is, of course, rook e1. And if the queen moves away uh, somewhere, let's say queen g7, then h5. And white is better. Uh, which makes sense now. I mean, white is breaking through. The pawn is completely irrelevant. But I played rook e1. Black has a slight edge. Knight c4, queen d1. Okay. And here my opponent played h5 first. Uh, I'm not sure taking the pawn is possible. If he takes the pawn, then I just go queen e2. And doesn't seem like he can save the pawn. Or I can go bishop g4. Uh, I'm not sure which one I would have played. I, I think I was considering bishop g4 as the main candidate. So if he plays, let's say, rook e8, then I go h4. I misplace the queen. And after the queen moves, I mean, there's a ton of pressure here. I, I thought queen e2 works here. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Okay, the engine says equal if you go a3 or king a1 okay let's say here knight g4 queen g4 or, or rook g4 <clears throat> yeah apparently this is equal i did not expect that the black holds onto the pawn but okay he, he didn't take the pawn it just seemed too scary to take there uh, also in this position maybe i have bishop d5 but I, i'm not sure yeah i don't I was thinking this could work, but it doesn't work because he can always defend. And if I go queen e2, my queen is hanging in the end. Queen d4 doesn't work because of queen f5 check and queen f7. Okay, uh, he played h5, preventing bishop g4. <clears throat> and now, again, either rook d5 or queen e2 saving my pawn. Uh, yeah, I was actually calculating the position with queen e2. I got confused during the game. So if I go rook d5 here, again, if he takes, white has an advantage. There's no doubt about that. This is just great. I get two pawns for the exchange. I have a much safer king and I have a passed pawn three squares away from queen. But he plays knight a3. I have to take, takes, takes. And 
or maybe queen takes in this position i'm not sure the engine plays e6 i definitely would not have played e6 uh, queen takes or bishop takes and black is slightly better but instead i played queen e2 and this is the position i was expecting rook f5 or rook f4 here he played rook f4 and in my opinion and for once the engine agrees rook d5 is the only move i mean i wasn't sure about this position but i knew that if i take on on f4 i'm going to be worse uh the, i'm definitely worse after rook f4 uh so rook d5 and there are a couple of things to calculate one of them is pawn takes which is better for white easy calculation ed5 bishop d5 and again white has a passed pawn the only reason uh this could be a useful move is if there is some pressure on the a file but other than that the position is the same as before so i've quickly discarded e takes rook f3 i've also discarded because of queen f3 and now if pawn takes then check and i win the rook in the corner uh, king g7 queen b7 i take the rook on a8 so that doesn't work queen f5 check uh, also didn't seem to work because if king a1 then e d5 bishop d5 again uh, and if if rook f3 here then queen c4 and again the same issue as before if pawn takes then queen takes king g7 uh, and i take the rook and i just have a million extra pawns so knight a3 the only sensible candidate move now i cannot play king a1 i do not end up trapping the knight uh, even though it seems trapped here it's really not easy to target that knight and i just couldn't figure it out i don't see a way to put pressure on the knight uh if yeah also i'm hanging mate on c1 so there's no way to to get away with that so i have to take he took i took and king g7 and this is the critical position unfortunately at this point i had about 20 minutes on the clock of course this is 90 plus 30 and having a complicated position like this one with 20 minutes on the clock is just tough at least for me he had about 50 minutes and yeah candidate moves were g3 or queen b5 i couldn't see anything else uh, e6 hangs the bishop otherwise e6 is a great move i've also looked at bishop b3 but i i wasn't convinced uh if g3 which i didn't play then the rook goes back uh, i go c4 this is if i don't play bishop b3 c4 sort of solidifies my bishop he plays rook e8 i go e6 I don't know what black plays here. I was expecting something like queen f5 and I was going to go queen c2. And I wasn't sure about this endgame. I thought that this is just worse. Uh, if queen c2, queen c2, rook f2, king b3, rook h2, I'm not queening my e pawn. Now, if you turn on the engine, the engine says it's equal after queen c2. But for a human, that, that's tough. If I lose my h pawn, black has a passed pawn and again, I have no way of controlling the dark squares. So I played queen b5, which is the losing move, according to the engine. Uh, the idea is take on b7 and win the rook. And if he does nothing useful, then I play e6. Um, I, I don't know. Let's say he plays. Okay, there's only one move in the position, otherwise queen d7 also is an option followed by e6. So he has to play rook d8, which I was expecting. He has to do it. Now, what can I do here? Uh, again, I cannot go e6 because my bishop hangs. Uh, this doesn't work uh, because he takes with the rook. e7 loses the queen with check. Uh, if he takes with the queen, maybe it does work because he isn't in time to prevent my pawn from queening. However, even that's not easy to figure out. If you get a position like this, yeah, okay, it is easy to figure it out. Uh, 
so I cannot play e6. I could go bishop b3, but then again, e6 has been prevented, and I've allowed rook d2. So I could consider c4. Okay, this was a candidate move, but after c4, just rook f2. And I have to play queen b3, I think. And if he plays queen d2, then I don't know, I'm completely losing. So I couldn't make anything work, so I played queen b7. It may seem suicidal to open up the b-file, uh, and it was tough to, to live with, with an open b-file, but I saw something. I saw that, <clears throat> that I could play queen a7, which is absurd. Queen h6, and I played c4, tempting him into playing rook f2, against which I played the losing queen a7. Okay, of course he plays rook f2, there are no other moves. Uh, so here. And I played queen a7. You're going to see why it's losing very shortly. The correct move was queen b3. And if he plays uh, queen d2, then queen e3. And I have a winning endgame. Sorry. Queen d2, queen e3. And this is just easily winning. But I have too many pawns for, for black to deal with. And two best pawns. And my bishop is a great centralized piece. However, <clears throat> on queen b3, he plays queen f5 check. And this... I mean, I didn't even seriously consider it, but let's say he plays king h7 here, preventing queen e3. What do I do? I have zero moves in this position. I, I don't know. The engine says... Queen b7 check, best move, king h6, queen b3 with a repetition, and then eventually black plays rook f1. However, rook a, uh, queen a7 is losing. Uh, of course, if he plays queen d2, I play queen e3 check, winning. If he plays uh, rook b8, I take it. If he plays anything else, I take the rook on f2. So he only has one move that makes sense, queen f5 check. And after king a1... <clears throat> queen c2 check and i thought okay queen e3 check the king moves queen b3 what's wrong this is what i was calculating before playing queen a7 this was the worst op the worst option for me unfortunately i'd completely overlooked the move queen d2 and after queen d2 uh, which is for me at least a simple move to miss i was hoping uh, I would get something to work, but nothing works. It, it, it just busted, and at this point I knew it. I should also mention that I was playing with increment for the last five moves. I had like less than a minute on the clock. So the obvious downside to rook b1 is queen d4 check and resigns. Uh, rook b2, rook f1, queen b2, rook b2. So only have one move. I have to play rook d1. And now the very simple queen e2. And, and that's it. I have no moves. Uh, queen e5 is coming whether I save the pawn or not. Uh, I played on waiting for him to perhaps make a mistake. So e6, queen e5 check. <clears throat> king b1 only move. And now he played a brilliant move, king h6. And king h6 just prevents all the checks down the d-file. <clears throat> of course, the critical variation is rook b8 and bishop a7, where if he'd tried that before, then eventually I have rook d7 check. Uh, not that I could save the game, but king h6 is just very clean. And of course, with the queen covering e3, there are no tricks with queen e3 check winning the rook. So I played c5, hoping that he wouldn't take the pawn, which is absurd, but okay. So rook b8, bishop a7, uh, and of course, if he doesn't play queen c5, then I go c6, and I'm not sure who's better. Uh, I don't know. Let's say, let's say he plays h4, then c6, and I don't know. If his rook isn't participating down the b file, and I have these two strong passed pawns, I wouldn't be able to say who's better. Uh, if you turn on the engine, black is minus two, so black is better, but this would be hard for me to figure out. 
But of course he took on c5 and I played rook c1, again trying to get him to blunder if he moves the queen away somewhere, like, um, I don't know, queen d d6, then I win the rook, but he's not going to do that. Uh, he played queen f5 check, king a1, queen e5 check, king b1, and queen e2, uh, and, and that's it. End of game. Uh, I, I don't have a single move. He's going to play rook b7, queen b7, and queen a2 mate. Uh, if I move my rook somewhere, then he's going to go rook b7. Uh, if I play king a1, he's going to go rook b7. If I go uh, rook c7, he's going to go rook b7. Queen takes, loses to a mate in two, check, and mate. Or, sorry, mate. Uh, and rook takes, loses to mate. So yeah, that, that, that was the end of the game. Uh, it wasn't easy to show this game. Uh, my results recently haven't been good, but as I said, I promised to show all of my games. So here it is. Hopefully the next one is better. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more chess. Bye-bye.